Good evening to you all. My name is Mr. Sukuru Mangurwa Al Hassan. I am the author of African Traditional Revolution. I have invented a program called the African Traditional Heritage, African Knowledge. I am here today to discuss the values and the benefits of African traditions with you through this program. Watch us live every Friday evening, 18 hours in France time. Though I am not highly educated, I was inspired by divinity to write this beautiful book for the people of Africa and the world. My English is not too good, so don't judge my grammar, but judge my creative wisdom and my resilience determination to remind Africans of their culture and traditions. My quest to understand why Africans were still facing serious economic predicaments at this age and era made me begin to research into the African traditions. My stay in Asia and Europe motivated this research. It took me quite a long time studying the African traditions. I gained a lot of wisdom as I embarked on this powerful research. I was then convinced that if I put this my natural wisdom into a book form, it will be of enormous benefit to my own fellow black people in the diaspora and the African continent. I then wrote this book and gave it out for proofreading and professional editing by experts. This book is out now, especially in Ghana my beloved country. It has already started making impact in Ghana. Considering the feedbacks I get from those who have bought and read the book. As I said earlier, never judge my grammar, but judge my creative wisdom for wisdom is timeless. My motto is love, love, and love across the barriers. What is African knowledge? I am here today to give you the definition of African knowledge. African knowledge is the study of African cultures and traditions to the higher level by receiving div divine wisdom. It's only people who are in the African spirit who can explain the nature of the universe through African traditions and our own way of thinking and not by the external scriptures that we have learned over the years. A black man who received divine spirit from our African traditional giant spirit through the black tender bed which represents us angels, he may, first of all, make the white tender bed which represents the white angel. If that black person limit himself to the white spirit, such a black man can't be an inventor of 
anything but can copy a white invention perfectly. But if he does not limit himself to the white angel spirit and continue to seek spiritual knowledge with truth, he will finally discover the black angel that will present his own black being. He will be able to explain our African spirit that linkers to our traditions and the other traditions in the world. The explanation may vary from different tribes to another tribe, but the origin of life is the same. The person who studied Africanology to the highest level receive his own divine wisdom and can teach about the human mind, body and spirit. That person can also that person also understands the relationship among tradition, religion and science. Such a person can modify or even build his own tradition that fit the new generation without nullifying the old traditions completely. When a person nullifies his own tradition, he completely welcomes the foreign traditions. He kills his own creative wisdom and spirit. Such a person cannot invent anything by himself, but the best he can do is to copy from others. No matter how well he is educated, one need to understand the definition of tradition in his own way. If not, one will never be able to create any new thing in his life until he dies. The relationship among traditions, religion and science is clear to me through the divine wisdom I have gained. During my research for the truth, we Africans fear to start something new. The formal education that we receive makes us lose confidence in ourselves and fear to start any new thing on our own. This happened because we have been influenced that the only way we can have an easier life is we must join the already existing ones. That is true and not bad, but you will lose your own original natural wisdom and creative spirit that you were blessed with to create something new and bring an enlightenment and development to Africa. But once the Western education influences you not to appreciate something of your own culture and tradition, the best you can do is to copy and limit yourself only to the white man's creations. That is the reason why we Africans are still facing huge economic challenges in our continent because we refuse to create what we need in Africa, but we rather rely on the wise creation to survive. If people have the knowledge of their own indigenous cultures and traditions, 
they progress in whatever they do. They achieve higher education and they automatically become creators because they have confidence in themselves. Thank you all once again for your time. Meet us next Friday, 6 p.m.